Hey guys, today I'm here at the vault. I'm gonna try and build my scooter out of the parts I picked out from the vault. So here's my scooter. It's mostly all Ethic. So I grabbed all the Ethic parts I could find and we're gonna try and build it for you today. I'm Hunter, by the way. <laughs> Didn't get introduced, so. Okay, today we got Ethic Dildegas bars. Does not sound right. <laughs> Ethic Mero V2 fork. Ethic silicone headset. As Hunter said, root industry air wheels. S Sil? Silf? <laughs> I think Not it, quite sure how to say that. It might the, be slight, I don't know. The really light clamp they sell. Yeah, so the F, that's an Ethic clamp with six millimeter bolts. And then we got a Ethic Pandemonium deck. It's my favorite deck and the same one I ride. So I'm gonna see how fast we can put this together for you and uh, hopefully make an awesome scooter. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put the Scythe's, however you say it, <laughs> clamp on the bars. Okay, it's the wrong clamp. This is for HIC. <laughs> <laughs> so. We'll, uh, we'll find another one of those, but in the meantime, we will put on the grip tape. Okay, next thing will be the fork. Let's do fork. Okay. okay, so I got the headset bearing on the fork. Looks like there's already a crown race installed in the fork, so you're gonna put that through. Okay, we're gonna do this. And this. no top cap, because Gator don't play no tricks. <laughs> so we don't need one. This yeah. is going here. Still don't have a clamp, so <laughs> we're gonna start on the wheels. You know, I've just sure. been handed an urgent news story. It's a clamp. Applying the clamp to the bars. Okay, we're gonna leave the front wheel off because if we put it on, it'd be really hard to install the uh, bolt in the bars. Now the compression bolt. A lot of people don't like ICS, but I think it's great because it's super light. And it makes the front end of the scooter very light, so doing tails and stuff like that is very easy. Apply that to the bolt. Grease usually helps on any type of bolt. Anti-squeaky grease. Yeah, just makes the bolts go in nice and easy and come out easy too. Now we're gonna flip it this way, put the front wheel on. Okay. If you guys don't know, Coda's pretty much known for not tightening his scooter properly. <laughs> and it sounds like a bag of bolts. This one's gonna sound better than mine. Scooters together, now we have to tighten the clamp. I've been riding this clamp for maybe six months. The same clamp, the same bolts, and I haven't stripped it, hasn't cracked. It's one of the best clamps I've ridden before. I would recommend getting one, it's great. Okay, since we have black grip tape, I'm gonna make my own design. Don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but I'll just start drawing. So now we have custom grip tape. Now we're outside, we're gonna paint splatter the bars on this scooter. I got um, House of Colors car paint. It's the best paint I could find and uh, works really good. And then I also have some clear coat. So after we paint it, we're gonna spray some clear coat so the paint does not come off. All right, let's get started. I say let's do blue first because it's the darkest color. I'm probably gonna ruin this table, but Nicole said it's fine. Basically all you do is dip it in and you want the paint to drip off the paintbrush and you basically just go like this. And the thicker the paint, the cooler designs you could do. The blue's looking pretty good. And since this is car paint, it's got a lot of pearl and other sparkly things in it. So in the sun, it looks very awesome. In theory, I should probably wait a couple minutes so it kind of dries, but I'll try and do a color and see what happens. Now we're grabbing the red paint. Do the same thing, different brush so it doesn't blend together. This stuff looks pretty thick. So you basically just go like this. And now we got blue and red done. I'm gonna grab the yellow. This is the brightest color, so you wanna do it last. Make sure you whip it up good so it's very thick. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the deck just because I can. Usually if you wanna do this, like if you wanna make it look the best, you should tape off everything and then you can do the inside of the wheels, the fork, everything you want, but today I'm just gonna do the side of the deck so we can make it a little bit better. Mm. We're gonna give this a little bit time to dry and then come clear coat it in a few minutes. Hey guys, we're back. The bars are dry, so now we're gonna spray it with some clear coat. If you guys really want it to stick, you should spray probably four sets of clear coat with like 10 minutes in between. You don't wanna lay too much on there because it will like glob up and make sure you get anywhere that you put paint on. And I did the deck a little bit, so we're gonna spray a tiny bit on the deck. 
So now you can give that about 20 minutes to dry, then you can finish your other coats, but that's basically it for the custom paint splatter. You guys should go do it and then tag me in your pictures on Instagram. Hey guys, we finished the scooter today. It turned out a lot better than I expected. The paint splatter definitely turned out very awesome. I really like the way it comes out. And if you see it in the sun sometime, you'll definitely see the pearl and all the sparkles in the paint because I use car paint. But um, the wheels should be very smooth and fast. All the fork and all the ethic parts should last you guys a long time. And there's only one, so I don't know who's going to get it. But yeah, whoever put this together did an awesome job. <laughs> but we're going to do a dial test. This is my scooter. Here we go. Not dialed. Beautiful. OK, so I, this one's more dialed if you, that's what you want. We had a really good time building it. It was super fun. I um, just want to thank the Vault Fro Scooters for letting us do this. And follow me on Instagram at Hunter underscore Schutz. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram. They could probably put it around this area at Dakota Schutz. Um, thanks. Have a good day. See you later.